So it took me a minute to decide how I was going to make this video. Today, obviously, we're going to have the WWE, and I'm going to call these throwbacks. I know they don't say throwbacks anywhere on there, but they absolutely should say throwbacks. Dum, 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 dum. Oh, well, hello there, old chap. Lord Squatchington here of the Royal Society of Big Feet. Hmm. When I'm not on the hunt or playing croquet with the Duke of Yettysboro, I enjoy watching Wayneco. And if you enjoy it like I do, old chap, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and turn on those bell notifications. Hmm. Yes, quite right. Hmm. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications, become part of the Wayne Co. crew. My name is Wayne and this is Wayne Co. Now, what I mean by it took me a minute is I just, I don't like just making videos about Funkos and throwing them out there. So it took me a minute to decide how I was going to make this video. And at first I thought I'll do a green screen. And then I thought, well, I don't want to do a green screen. I'll do a wrestling ring. I don't have access to a wrestling ring and we're in quarantine. So I've had these for a couple of weeks now, and I decided a way that I could do a video that I think will do these justice. So I picked up Mean Gene, the Hulk, and Andre the Giant. And the reason I picked up these three is because these three were the most nostalgic to me. Now, what I mean by that is these were the ones that brought back the most memories of the wrestling as a kid and watching the, the soap opera unfold on the TV. These were the ones for me. Mean Gene because, I mean, Mean Gene was always there. I mean, he interviewed everybody, everybody. And he, he even did a whole, like, little wrestling skit for a minute, but it, it didn't last very long. Then you have the Hulk. I mean, there's nothing more iconic about the Incredible Hulk in wrestling. That holds true for Andre the Giant also. Now, they've had a few people since Andre the Giant that was kind of tall and kind of big, but to me, it still wasn't Andre the Giant. And I kind of got out of wrestling once these guys kind of got old and retired, right? I mean, it's hard to say because that means I'm getting older also. But we're going to check out these two guys today. I'm going to take Mean Gene. I'm going to put him to the side because I think we all know that Mean Gene looks like Mean Gene, right? I'll take a closer look up at this box, and then I'm going to go compare these two size for size. I'm going to set them up. I'm going to get all three of these out eventually and put them on a shelf and make them look like mean jeans in the middle of them, and he's interviewing them, and it's about to be a riot. But let's take a closer look at this guy real quick. So like I said, we're going to take mean jean, and we're going to throw him to the side real quick. Not because he's not worthy of getting out of the box, but y'all know that I typically don't do lots of, of Funkos at one time. So I just kind of wanted to show you this box real quick. And look, he's on the back. They show five of them on the back, and I believe that these are the five. They show on the back of every one of them. Really, really awesome pops. And I picked these up a couple of weeks ago. Now, like I was saying, I picked these two guys up a couple of weeks ago, and I was just trying to decide how I was going to do a proper video to show the proper size of this really awesome Andre the Giant. And like I said, I didn't just want to come out and do a video like I always do, throw him out there. I wanted to give you an actual size comparison, and I wanted to make it true to the Wayne Co. tradition and make it just a, a different video than most. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do an overhead shot of these two so that you can just get an, a real comparison as to how awesome these two pops are. So the Incredible, the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> Not the Incredible Hulk. So Hulk Hogan here, his box looks just like... Um, mean jeans here but they don't show the Incredible Hulk on the back of this one and look they do that a lot with Funkos where you don't always see them on the back but it doesn't mean they don't exist it's number 71 out of the group Andre the Giant has a different set on the back of his box and that's the one thing I noticed out of the group and I think that's maybe because he's a six inch pop and maybe these are gonna be six inch pops also I'm not a hundred percent sure on that but I mean that's that's kind of where my thoughts are with this and let's get these two guys out of the box so that we can really get a, a better 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 view a, a better comparison of what they look like right i mean so we're going to do the hulk first only because i know how to open the hulk and it's going to be easier for me because andre giant has some some extra stuff they threw some tape on his box i'm okay with the the, the cutting and the tape on that box like i'm normally not an in the box collector anyways so it's really not a big deal for me to cut through that I just didn't do it on my Mandalorian, and that's that's different reasons, right? I mean, the Mandalorian is a little bit different pop than most of them. 
so getting this guy out of the box he's still pretty awesome so i know everybody here remembers his bandana that he had that always had this writing on it i never went to a wrestling event and look it wasn't because i wouldn't have went as a kid it was simply because we could not afford it as a kid he always ripped his shirt off either before or during the match i mean it, it was just something he did pretty iconic stuff he does have a little bit of like blemish right there on his head and he has a little bit of paint spillover but none of that is a huge deal breaker to me when it comes to this pop so let's put him right here and then we're going to get the giant out now remember that they made Andre the Giant in a six inch pop and they did that because they wanted there to be a clear size difference in the two pops, right? I mean, so it's, it's obvious that there's going to be a huge difference in the two pops, which is awesome, right? I mean, because that's what we want. We want there to be a big difference in the two pops because Andre the Giant was always a giant. I mean, he was simply bigger than they are. All right, so I cut through that bottom tape, and I think I can just pop this one off right down here. I like opening mine from the bottom because some reason it, it always seems easier to open from the bottom than it does the top. I don't really know why that is. Maybe it's the way they fold it. I mean, I'm not 100% sure, but it always just feels easier to me to open them up in that direction, and that's why I do it. So, come on, get them out of there. I mean, Andre the Giant is a heavy pop, and just his hair is is pretty awesome. So neither one of these came with a stand, so we're going to assume that they'll stand all on their own, and they will. I mean, it, it they're going to stand all on their own. Andre the Giant is a big pop. So let's let's get them side by side there. Let's let's get them in frame a little better. As you can see, he is a really really big pop when it comes to the other one right i mean just even the head alone i mean if you look at just the two sizes of the heads even the head is just massively different so let's set him down for a different and let's set him down for a second and let's move on so i mean look at the detail they packed into his hair there's a little paint spillover like right around the ears but nothing that's a deal breaker i mean it's still okay i mean i think maybe you could see right there a little paint spillover he they did not give him a perfect physique and that's because he never had a perfect physique he was always this really tall really big wrestler that just went in and pounded other people until he won i mean it if you remember the old wrestling days throw in a comment down below tell me which one you like more do you did you like the hulk or did you like andre the giant do you remember mean gene throw me those comments down below and, and let me know if you remember all of those and, and what you thought and if you grew up with the wrestling era i mean because these are really cool figures to me but these these besides randy macho man randy Sa macho man i think i said that all wrong all but macho man randy savage these are probably the only wrestling pops i will ever own because honestly i got out of wrestling as an adult so as i grew up i kind of grew out of it and i don't watch it i haven't watched it probably since these guys were wrestling if that gives you any idea of how long that's been really extraordinary pops now like i was saying it took me a minute to decide how i was going to show these guys off to you because i just didn't want to simply come in with a video and be like oh check these guys out ta -da, and you not ever get a real comparison as to size difference and how awesome these pops are i mean they are really awesome and the detail that went into these two guys i mean it is just insane i mean you honestly have to look at some of these characters to realize how much detail Funko manages to pack into something so small. Even though this one's not that small, they still packed in lots of detail. And even though it doesn't have that much stuff to pack in detail with, they manage to get it in there. They have his shoelaces. They have his, his shirt and all is coming off of his body. The, the attention to the hair that Funko puts into their hair is insane. I mean, so you honestly would have to get your hands on this pop to, to, to get a full feel of how much detail they were able to pack into him the hulk shirt the way they have it ripping off he has his six pack with his chest the whole back of his shirt has the the actual it's not just painted i mean those are actual spaces in there and as always they got the shoelaces just extraordinary attention to detail goes into these things and they're just really awesome me and Mr. Techbot have been going live every Friday, and we're going to continue to go live until we just don't. So don't forget, come check us up, ask some questions, ask anything within reason, right? Because we'll answer anything within reason. Now, if you start getting crazy, I mean, we're probably not going to answer it. But 
come check us out come hang out with us come chill come ask questions just come be a part of the wayne co crew right so so come support us come see us all of that great stuff so don't forget come check us out we're gonna get mean gene open real quick just so that we can get a little bit better look at him just in case there's some of y'all out there that want to see mean gene i'm gonna get him open real quick he's right here why not i mean he's eventually going to be opened anyways so i might as well pop him open real quick so that so that the few of you out there that are going to want to know what mean gene looks like got an idea of what mean gene looks like now mean gene was the announcer he was he was a really good announcer and unfortunately mean gene passed away i mean so he, mean gene's no longer alive i know that the hulk is still with us i'm not real sure about andre the giant to be completely honest with you let's take a closer look at so to be honest with y'all these things feel a little small since i had andre the giant in my hand and you can see the attention to detail that went into this you could even see the wrestling logo right there on the microphone the hair on his uh, mustache is is got lines in it. I mean, his suit has a bow with a with a handkerchief. I mean, the, the Funko just goes way above and beyond when it comes to packing the detail in these guys. And that is why Funko has been going as long as they have. They pack so much detail and they go above and beyond when it comes to just thinking about how they're going to make these guys. Now, they do pump a lot of them out and I'm thinking maybe that's going to slow down due to us all being at home, which is not necessarily a bad thing, right? I mean, because it probably needed to slow down just a touch, but I don't think it's going to slow down that much. Don't forget to come check us out Friday, guys. Like I said, me and Mr. TechBot will be going live. We've been going live for the past couple of Fridays. We'll be going live until we're not, and that's just what we're going to do. The next video I'm going to make is going to be uh, it's going to be this uh, little mech thing. I'm going to build it. Y'all have to tell me down in the comments below if you like that kind of stuff and if you want to see that kind of stuff some more once I make it. I mean, because I don't, I got it because it was quarantine. It was something to to keep me busy with. And just y'all y'all have to tell me once I make it what you think. Don't forget to come check us out Friday. It'll be me and Mr. Techbot. Go check his channel out. Check my channel out. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications, and become part of the Wayne Co. crew. There is no Wayne Co. crew without you guys. Thank you for watching, and until next time, have a good one.